Hey Dan, uh, I'm just finishing doing a on my little Facebook group, um, and I thought I would come up and um, do a wee random stories volume three. Um, I want to talk about the other stuff that's happening in my life at the minute, but I'll leave that to another vlog. Um, but I wanted to come on and just tell you about a wee random story that's happened. Wee random story. Um, when I was a young fella, a young wee, a young boy, I had to go and see a specialist in Belfast Hospital in the Royal Victoria Hospital for sick children. I had to see this specialist every six months. And my mother, being a single parent, she couldn't drive. She 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 she, she, drove, she drove a car, she had a license and all, but she couldn't drive to Belfast. She didn't know how to, to, to drive around Belfast. And she didn't trust my granda because there's a wee dog. Hold on. Go on, pup. Go on, pup. She didn't trust my granda because the last time my granda drove to Belfast he wrecked the car. I asked for a random story of volume four and I'll do that next. Um, so anyway, what I was saying. So she didn't trust my granda, so she got her friend Jordy, who Jordy Jordy was um, um, his name was George, but they called him Jordy. Jordy was a was my grandfather's best friend. And every morning they would have got up and they would have went for a walk together. People called them Holmes and Watson because my granddad was Watson and he was he was he wasn't Holmes, he was Hassan. But they called him Holmes and Watson. But anyway, because they were they were everywhere. They walked the whole town and they would have they knew all everybody's business. But anyway, um, so Jordy was a driver. Jordy wasn't the best driver, but my mother trusted him. In fact, Jordy was very much like an uncle to me. Geordie would have been, I would have called him Uncle George, or Uncle Geordie. I would have referred to him, I wouldn't have called it in his face, but he knew. Geordie died last year, sadly, and um, I didn't know about it until about two months later. I was fam the family left it private, but Geordie and his brother Harold were very much involved, very much there, um, um, all through my, my childhood. But Geordie, Jordy was your typical old man driver. He, uh, he would have driven, he would have uh, in, in the UK we have mostly manual cars, you can hear me changing the gears. But, uh, I'm not going to do it to my car because I don't want, I don't want my car wrecked. But, um, Jordy, Read or rode the clutch. I'm not going to do it in my car because I do not want to get a new clutch cable. I really don't want it. But he would have, he would have revved the car and he would have. I'll honestly have it to it. As he was driving, and um, he was hilarious, you know. And he would have conked out in the middle of a roundabout. Well, one day this video was going longer than the other random videos. This camera is very bright. Um, it's good lighting today. Um, you can see my, my funny eye. I have a funny eye at the minute. This eye's twitching and this eye's off all ugly underneath. Anyway, besides all that, Jordy took us to Belfast one day and Jordy was fine. And Jordy used to take us all the time, but there was one story that, that was stuck in my mind. I had to be transferred to the bone hospital because I, I developed a bone disease as a young child. Um, uh, weakened bones. Um, um, my bones would have chipped away a lot, very fragile, brittle bone syndrome. And uh, I had to go to Musgrave Park, which is a big hospital in Belfast. Um, so I went there every year. So in turn, we were going to Belfast three times a year with Jordy uh, to see my see my consultant twice, and then my other consultant once for my bones. So this day we were coming home from um, Belfast, and they had they had built they had built a new roundabout in at a wee town about twenty miles out of where we were in Macker, uh, wee town out of Macrafield, twenty miles out of Macrafield. They built this new roundabout, and Geordie had never 
Jordy had never been around the roundabout before. We took the old way through the little the old the little village outside Macfell. We took the old way through the village and onto the onto the, the freeway as you guys would call it. We'd call it the the, the um, motorway. And coming home, we had to go round the roundabout. So we come up round the roundabout, and Jordy conked out, stalled the car in the middle of the roundabout. There was lorries coming. There was a bus coming. There was cars coming. My mother, she was squealing. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Jordy, Jordy! And Jordy was a Protestant, and my mum was a Catholic, so she was squealing and ro- praying the rosary. Meanwhile, I was in the back. I was, I had converted to, uh, to Islam. You know what? I didn't, cause I hadn't, I hadn't heard of Islam. I converted to Buddhism. I had converted to, to Sikhism, and I had converted to Protestantism, and I had converted back to Catholicism, and I had converted to something else. And by the time we get the car started, at that stage it was back to Catholicism, so it was fine. It was later on in the years that I became a Christian, so I'd left all that, but this was about 14. So I'd sort of I'd converted all these different religions because I thought, I, I'm on my way out here, and I just need, I, I, if I convert to one religion before I die, uh, some of them will be able to get me to heaven, although now I know different. <laughs> so he finally got her started, this was him going up the roundabout. Sorry, Freddy. Sorry, Freddy. Freddy's my car, by the way. So we went off like a flump, way up the road, flying, and Jordy, he was laughing his head off, as if it was a normal day's business. So this video lasted a wee bit longer than it, than it should have, but anyway, I will see you all for Random Stories Volume 4. I forget what I was going to talk about Volume 4, but anyway, bye-bye. Oh, yes, I do now. Bye-bye.